how much iron does the body need on a daily basis? So that really depends on our age and our physiological state. So pregnant women, for example, they need more iron because they're producing a lot of new blood for the fetus and new tissues. So they need iron for that. Um, Children, because they are growing very fast, they also need more iron. Um, And then the rest of us, mostly it's premenopausal women, so women of childbearing age that need more iron because they lose iron every month through the menstrual cycle. So it really depends. Men and older women need less iron than younger women and children, typically. So, for example, a child depends on the country, but the recommendation, for example, in the UK, it's about 8 milligrams of iron every day. And for a woman, that will be about 14, 15 milligrams. In the US, it's slightly more. And how much of that translates into real human diet? So how much uh, red meat would somebody have to eat or maybe spinach or kale would they have to consume? So, for example, a steak would have about maybe 4 milligrams to 5 milligrams of iron in the total daily amount that we need, maybe 15. So that means maybe eating three steaks a day or (laughs) mixing it up a little bit. Um, So plant-based foods have much less iron. Spinach maybe will have one milligram, two milligrams per portion. Uh, Breakfast cereals are quite good because in the UK and in many European countries, they are fortified with iron and they typically can have up to 30 milligrams of added iron per 100 grams. So a 30 um, gram portion will have quite a lot of iron. We don't absorb all that iron, but still it's quite a good contributor to the total amount of iron we need. So you can definitely get iron from multiple sources. Yes, exactly. That's really good to know. I don't have to eat three steaks a day. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) Um, So I guess we already touched base on this a little bit, but which foods have iron naturally? Uh, Most foods will contain some iron, um, and it's all about how much iron we absorb from different foods. Um, So I was saying that uh, normally we absorb a little bit better uh, the iron coming from animal-based foods. That iron is bound to protein, and our body can absorb it better. Um, So things like red meat, liver, poultry will have quite a lot of iron that we can easily absorb. And then from plant-based sources, uh, dark green vegetables will have a good amount of iron, spinach, kale, um, beetroot. Things like lentils and um, kidney beans and Mm -hmm. soya beans are also quite good sources. Um, And then cereal products. So in the UK, for example, all white flour is fortified by law with iron. So that means that all products in the UK that are baked or made with white flour will contain some added iron. So things like biscuits, pasta, bread, white bread. Um, And then most of the breakfast cereals are fortified with iron. But the level added to white flour is not really that much. It's really more like a restoration of the levels because when you grind the flour, the whole wheat grain, to produce the refined white flour, you lose the iron that's part of the shell of the grain. And that's why you need to add that extra iron to bring it to the level that it will be in wholemeal flour. I see. So in wholemeal flour, already there's iron. There's already iron there. There's no reason to fortify fortify, Yeah. Okay, but with the white flour, it's because... It loses the iron during processing, which is why they have to... They decided to add it so that it would bring the nutrition value of white flour back to the whole grain. Ah, I see. That's really interesting. Yeah, so they add... uh, It's not only iron, it's iron, calcium, and some B vitamins that are added to restore... So it's really restoration of nutrition rather than fortification fortification because fortification is really adding something above and beyond what was already present in the natural food. Would they try to fortify the iron in whole grains? Um, They do in breakfast cereals. So a lot of bran flakes and whole grain cereals are fortified with iron. This podcast was produced by the European Food Information Council as part of the Speaking Up for Science Action Network project.